hamster gang so welcome back to suction channel today we are going to be talking about how to take care of a senior or a sick hamster before we begin please subscribe to suction channel for more fun and cute videos and gently hit the bell icon so you'll never miss any video in the future also check out my etsy or suction website for my cute hamster haida creations links are on the video description below i hope you enjoy Hamsters are extremely cute. They are super energetic when they are young. Some of them are very lazy like my previous hamsters, Tofu and Pepper. Hamsters do silly things and it's very fun watching them. Unfortunately, they cannot stay like this forever. Their lifespan is about 2 years. Yes, it is very short and you'll see them getting old so fast. They change day after day, becoming weaker and helpless. Old hamsters have high chance to get unexpected disease and it is awfully hard to notice because they tend to hide their illnesses to the point where they cannot hide it anymore. If you see any slight changes in your hamster's behavior, it is better to take it to the vet for a checkup. When I had my first hamster 20 years ago, literally there was no information about hamsters on the internet and I didn't know how to handle him properly, especially when he got old. I hope the hamster beginners watch this video, so they don't make any mistake I made before. Usually, hamsters start becoming inactive a few months before they reach their second birthday. They tend to sleep more, and they don't want to come out from their hideout. They slowly eat less as time goes on. At this point, it's better to give them more fresh food such as vegetables, fruits, and boiled protein like eggs and chicken breasts because their teeth are not strong enough to chew on pellets or seeds. They also may have difficulty digesting food. Also, I suggest you to use shallow bowl or plate for easier access to the food. If your hamster stops eating completely, try to cut food into smaller pieces. If he's still avoiding food, try to offer porridge or baby food. You can use eyedropper or syringe to feed it. But do not force feed the hamster since it can cause choking. Just place the tip of syringe near the mouth and let the hamster lick it on its own and gently clean up the mess. Old hamsters don't need a big space. Try to make it smaller and place the food potty and water near the hideout. Use a heat lamp to make the atmosphere warmer and cozy. Try to use a hideout that doesn't have a dorsal so your hemi doesn't have to climb. I made mine with cardboard very quick. I was actually dying that night because of the side effect from COVID booster shot. I got up in the middle of the night to do this. It was 3am. Anyways, it's better to have removable tops so you can carefully check on the hamster to avoid missing any emergency moment. Pepper never came out during the daytime, so I opened the top a couple times a day to see if his breathing is fine. I'm planning to make a ceramic hideout for old and sick hamsters. It would be better than this cardboard hideout. Last but not least, you need to prepare yourself to say goodbye to your hamster. If you're planning to cremate your furry friend, it's better to look up animal cremation places in advance. It's never easy to say goodbye and accept your hamster's death, but it is something you need to do. Try to make your hamster as comfortable as possible and spend a lot of time until their last moment. Thank 
you for watching. Please subscribe to Saxon channel if you haven't. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. If you have any question, feel free to ask me anything in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.